Yeah, and Jason Momoa, I can't buy it. So. <laughs> Just the oh, name. Mama Mama. Mama Mama. Mama Mama. Mama Mama. Mama Mama. And Rose McGowan's in this. Yeah, this is the this movie is the reason why we didn't get a Red Sonja film, folks. Maybe that's a good thing because Robbie Rod was gonna do that, so that's why. But Jason Mama Mama. <laughs> Ron Perlman's in it. And it but continues. I'm... The shit continues with the Fright Night. Remake, Fright Night. <laughs> Now, the other day, folks, we actually watched the original Friday Night. Yeah. It's a good fucking movie. Very Fun good movie. movie. And you don't need a remake. You don't. At all. You don't need Peter Vincent as a fucking ma- magician. Magician. <laughs> I still remember Matt's re- reaction when I told him that, because you had no idea. And then I told you, yeah, Peter Vincent is, is a magician. A, a magician? Yeah. Because it's, it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. Peter Vincent, mind freak. I don't care if the guy from fucking Chekhov or whatever is... That's on you, Lick. I don't care if he's the lead. Just hey, Nick, Nick Lovett. Nick Lovett is playing Nick evil is. Actor. Yeah. It's supposed to be a real popular kid now and stuff like that. And I guess the movie's going to focus more on evil Ed, who's played it's by so Ben Yeah. yeah. Tony Collette is in there, and Colin Farrell is... is and you have the chick who plays uh, Anton Yelkin's boy, girlfriend. She's not. She's already hot, so the whole thing that you have in the original, where Manda Piercy is just cute. It's just, know. I mean, this is from the director of Mr. Woodcock. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Mr. Woodcock, the name alone. <laughs> and his last name is Gillespie. Makes you wonder, huh? Well, I know a lot of people are like, like uh, you know, I know we did last oh, summer. The writer, oh, the writer who did Buffy the Vampire Slayer is helping, you know, write this. I don't know. Colin Farrell is no Chris Randon. No. And it do, it's already been made, folks. It's called Disturbia. Yeah. yeah. For fuck's sake. And look, they try to do that again with the Stepfather remake, and that bombed. And I don't care if this film's rated R. It'd be rated well, R for Rodden. It is rated R? Yeah, that's what it says. Well, yeah. Machete is rated R, and so is Predator. Predators. Not Predator titties. Predator titties. <laughs> Friday Night is just p- is stupid. And there's not going to be a good DVD, even if it comes out. It's just, yeah. They're stupid. I don't know. I just fuck you would hope so. It's not like Friday Night flopped. Friday Night made a good amount of money in 85. I'm sure yeah. it's going to get good reviews, too, because it's just fucking typical. Yeah. Fuck that movie. Spike his four fuck you too. Yeah, he can be Bobby Rod. Danny, Danny Trail. Fuck Danny Trail. Fuck Robbie Riley and go fuck each other. Hey, look, let me ask you something. It's called Spike Kids 4, right? Yeah. Now, am I under the impression of this, right? Isn't Alexa Vega and the lead kid, ain't they fucking in their early 20s now? Where did kids come from? They're not kids no more. They're bringing new kids in, probably. Oh, fuck them, then. They're a bunch of assholes. Bobby Rod's a dickhead. Jessica Alba's just sucking his dick together. I never, I never liked the Spy Kids movies. I mean, they just don't work. The first one is weird as fuck. I mean, okay. I don't they got walking to... thumbs. What were they, high when they did that? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the sequels just didn't get me, you know? The third one was embarrassing because I'm pretty Stallone. Stallone probably did it because he wanted was sick and tired of hearing his little girls yell at him. Daddy, do spy kids. Do spy kids. It is about new kids. There you go. It is about new kids. All right, I'll do it. I'll audition. I'll do your dishes. I'll do your dishes. I'll do your dishes. I'll do your dishes. Shut up. <laughs> uh, fuck Spike Kids 4. Spike Kids, don't fuck it, though. Apollo 18, I saw the trailer. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I thought footage. this was coming in January of 2012. Yeah, well, then fuck that. Don't be afraid of the dark. I it saw looks- some photos of it, and I don't know. I mean, I'll wait until I see the trailer. Look like it's interesting the pictures. What? You got, you got Galeno Del Toro writing the script, and you got Matthew Robbins. Now, Matthew Robbins is the same guy responsible for Dragon Slayer, I remember, from back in the day. Hmm. And I think for Barry's not included. Hmm. Katie Holmes is in this, Guy Pierce, Bailey Madison. I don't know who the fuck Bailey Madison is, but I know Kaylee Holmes. Oh, Kaylee. Ma- he directed Barry's not included. Yeah, Matthew Robbins, yeah. Okay. 
And I'm not sure if he was the director or writer of Dragon Slayer. Yeah. As well. I mean, Glamour Del Toro. Yeah, he won't direct it. I wonder if this is that vampire movie Glamour Del Toro has been talking a lot about that he's working on. It's supposed to be very... I don't know if it's about a vampire, but I saw a photo of the creature. It looks good. It's practical from what I saw. Well, he's trying to bring back the old effects. I know he's trying to do this vampire movie. I don't know if this is it, though. Oh, maybe it's mean, actually based on the. the, the uh, I, I don't. don't I don't like Kitty Holmes though. Well, man, she dies in the movie. You got Guy <laughs> Pierce there. Yeah. Yeah. I like Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce is good, you know. If he's in I the movie a lot. I liked him in the Count of Monte Cristo. He was Guy good. Pierce. Pierce is in uh, Heart Locker, and it's a role you'll never forget. He's only in there for like ten uh, minutes. I, I, I've seen that. Yeah. Oh, he's in the Heart Locker. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool. I mean, I don't know. I'll I'll wait. I, it could surprise. I'll wait till like Netflix for that one. I, it could surprise me. <laughs> idiot... Just with a title called "Our Idiot Brother," I don't know. I Fuck don't that. See. The depth. Same. Is it directed there. by John Madden? Is it directed by you know you know you put the thing here and then you got the you know the popcorn popper and the and the football and you go football players uh, you know Brett Favre. Was well, actually the guy oh, who wrote great... the Shakespeare in Love. Was <laughs> was John Madden. Matthew Vaughn is right. Wrote the screenplay. Well, I don't know. Fuck that. Okay, I. Yeah. Interesting one in here. Yeah. There's an interesting one in here I want to talk to you guys about. Now, there's one thing here that could piss me off with it. Because of the director, but the writers who are hands on with this, I think will will we'll teach the director to mind his own business. Columbiana? No, Columbiana, yeah, because if you look yeah. at the last synopsis, Zoe Zaldana, right, her parents she witnesses her parents being killed at a young age and she works for an uncle uh, as a hip her uncle's a hitman and she becomes an apprentice and she grows up, she takes those skills and she becomes a vigilante. Going after the uh, killers. But? Now, okay, that's the good thing. All right, I like Zoe Zeldana. Oh, the Transporter thing. 3 director. <laughs> Here's the bad thing. But now, the good thing is, Luke Besson is actually getting off his ass. He's going to write this with Robert, and Robert Mark Heyman's there, too. Yeah, but Robert he, he wrote Transporter 3. Yeah, Olivier and Mark Megaton wrote Transporter 3. And Luke Besson. Well, but Robert Mark Heyman is there, though. I mean, he's the guy responsible for taking... Yeah, but no, Lupus Son and Robert Mark Heyman did Transporter 3. They wrote it. Really? I'm in trouble now. They, <laughs> they did write Transporter 3. I'm looking at it right now. Because uh, I clicked on their names and it says, well, yeah. I put, well, well, every, everybody screws up sometimes, you know. I hope they don't drop the ball on this one because it's a vigilante story. Don't make no bullshit about fist in your face shit. <laughs> okay, yeah. The Vigilantes getting revenge. Well, no Shark Knight in 3D. I, I'm avoiding that movie just because of the title. It's like, let's, oh, Fright Night's it's coming out. Anyway. Let's call it Shark Knight. It's, yeah, uh, Shark Knight. I'm talking about the Colombiana thing. I know you guys didn't say much on it. Well, Colombiana. I want to see a trailer. Yeah, okay. I want to see, see a trailer, trailer first. And then I want to see if it's trying to be more like born bullshit. Or like faster. Yeah, I don't like or if it's going to be, like, like, I want to see what the action scenes are like. I want to see if it's going to be, like, more Lip Busan's earlier work, or is it going to be, like, bullshit, yeah, born identity. CGI, yeah. and... Like, here's the problem with Born Identity, and I know I'm not the only one in this group. I just don't, I just, the fight scenes suck. They're considered awesome, and I don't understand it. They're just, they're not... I don't think they're that great. But Lip Busan, I also wrote Unleashed. Yeah. I mean, he had a hand in writing Kiss of the Dragon. So what about That's what Shark I mean. Knight? I want to see a trailer first to see how the action is. If it's going to be yeah. like Salt, then I yeah, want to see it. I hate Salt. Especially with... <laughs> never mind. Yeah, Robert Mark came Salt, in... I, I'm sorry, Salt has some good action sequences for me. Yeah. Robert yeah. Mark came in, I mean, I, I listened to the commentary he did for Taken. His, his version of the movie actually was a more violent film than what we got. Because he had a more like little more over the top explosions in the film, like commando style he talked about. But Luke Besson kinda of simplified it a little bit. Oh, he wrote <laughs> fucking Cry Kid Three. 
Uh, well, he wrote uh, the first two films, but he wrote Ratchet. Well, he's had his Ratchet three. I don't understand yeah. it. Like, why did they write that script? Like, let's have like for the money. Two for the money, one for the show. Just can you imagine Ratchet three? If they did it right. Yeah, they did I mean, it right. He, some good, some so, bad. I mean, he wrote me. Kiss of the Dragon. That was good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Fifty-fifty. Sure. Uh, uh, see a trailer. Okay. I'll know more. That's how I feel about it. It could be an old, an old throwback to Luke Besson's early stuff, like yeah. the Yeah. Then that would be fine with. Or like Taken. Three you know? D. What's the Shark Night? There's Fright Night coming up. Oh, Shark, I mean, it's Shark. basically a college kids spend a week on a lake house, and you have these sh- I don't know, shark attacks. Oh look, it's directed by the same guy that brought us Snakes on a Plane. Wow. Uh, I like Snakes oh. on a Plane. That's cool. <laughs> these motherfucking snakes. And I, like motherfucking to, I don't like the fact from what I heard this is PG-13, which is bullshit. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so it needs to be gory. If it's PG-13, it's I'm not seeing it. Never mind. Oh, look. That's this movie over here that Mike is really looking Actually, for. Actually, Bucky Larson, real quick, porn to be started. <laughs> Super title. And I don't have hopes for that because Tom Brady, the guy who directed the comebacks, that is doing that one. And that was a horrible comedy. What about Warrior? That's what Mike is looking forward to. I actually want to see it. I, I, it's because there aren't that many UFC movies out there. But you and see, I won't give it a shot. The reason, the reason I saw the trailer for this, why I'm not eager about it, is because the movie is about an MMA martial artist, right? That's like a Rocky story. Now, I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's nothing against Tom Hardy. Fair, fair enough, all right? But I'm thinking, what about Jeff Speakman? What about Mark DeCostas? What, what they're, about the they're not. They're not. I would have liked that too. But that's they're not big name stars. They're not going to get it. That's, that's the whole thing. I understand that. But they're not going to get it. That's it. I mean, that's the bottom line. Mark DeCostas is not going to be in a big name movie anymore. Well, that's, that's very positive. <laughs> And I'm trying not to be. I'm. I. 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 I'm, I want to be positive about it, but it's not going to happen because he's not. I know how Hollywood works. Not marketable well, enough. Well, sad but true. It's sad but true. But, 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 but Warrior, I, I have hope for it because it looks like it might be good drama. Tom Hardy, he's one of the one things that I did like about Inception. I'm going to be honest. I liked his character in that movie. I didn't give two fucks about. about uh, you know, so you like him in Dark Knight Rises. He what might is? be a good Bane, but Bane is a stupid character <laughs> choice, but I don't know. It's bad. I don't know. It has Kurt Angel in it, so I, I'm avoiding it. <laughs> Nick Nolte's in there, I guess, being the father of the guys or whatever. I'll give it a look because I like UFC. Come on, Reggie. Yeah. Come on, Reggie. Reggie. And then you got <laughs> Drive, which is nothing like, speaking of Mark Costco's. if anybody here hasn't seen Drive. More it's... like Drive Off a Cliff. It's an awesome movie, Drive, with Mark DiCaprio. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the plot is behind this one. Is. What's the plot behind Drive? Uh, it's like simply it. Dutch. Like it's it. so awesome. bad. Oh. I was going to say it's so bad they whited it out. Well, I looked over here. It's supposed to be. This movie was supposed to be out in 2008. Stump. Neil Marsh was attached Stump to it. Stump performer Moonlight is a wheel man. Discovers that a contract has been put on him after a heist on Ron. Wow. Screams fly. Ryan Gosling. I don't. I don't like Ryan Gosling. There's a stunt man. Wow. Once again, I think of many other action guys you could have gave that role to, but no. Yes. Fuck. That's why like Warrior. I don't get two fucks about. It's cool. You're looking forward to it, Mike. I'm not doing. I don't know how. I don't know how she does it. Don't care. I'll show you. Johnny English. <laughs> Johnny... Johnny English Reborn is like. Why is there a sequel to that movie? Like why? We're running out of movies to make because sequels. Because people, to, I guess. you know. Because we want. Her. I thought the first film was okay. I didn't think it was spectacular. I didn't think it was this, but it was okay. That's why I, I didn't like it. Because I actually, honestly, I am not a fan of Rowan Atkinson. I don't like being. Uh, I'm not either. I don't think they're funny. I don't think he's a funny guy. It's just annoying. It's me, but. Oh look, this is I, interesting. This Johnny is, English didn't make a lot of yeah, money well, either, so why is that? Actually, I know that the, the original one was a good performance by Dennis, by uh, Dustin Hoffman, but being remade... That's bullshit. 
Straw Dogs as a remake is well, interesting. Well, I mean, the cast is interesting. James Woods. Yes, Marsden! 